Because if you try to force the standard, they will leave and join another church. And gone are the days when the pastor of that church will call and say, man of God, there is this person in your church like some genuine ministers do. American pastors do that a lot. They will call you and say, where are you coming from? You tell them. They will call the pastor to know who you are. But over here, no. Because you want members. So pastors are afraid of losing members. So they don't want to discipline members. And the members now believe that they have a free ride. But it's dangerous. Because God will not give you a free ride. Praise the Lord. What am I saying? There is a foundation we had. There was a way we were raised up in Ekede. And over the years, God does not change his standard. In our days, when everything seemed very flurry, watered down, just exciting, no condition. Take away every of those, they, they call it tradition. They don't call it old school. Take away this old school. Let's have fun in the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's have fun over what caused Jesus' life. He died in the, in the cream of youth. 33, 34. He sacrificed his life. Not as an old man, but as a young man. If he gave his life, what can't we give? And the one that is ready to, not ready to give the minimum, he said, let him go. Let him go. So integrity and faithfulness to the word of God in your personal life, in your family, for those who are called to ministry, in your ministry, for those who are not, in whatever service capacity you are. Let the word of God be highly honored. Don't toy with the word. Don't compromise the standard. And when you are obeying the standard of the word and people are trying to mock you, call you those derogatory names, pity them. Hear my language now. I say what? I say what? Pity them. Because they are in for a rough ride. But many times we don't want to be called old school, old testament, and out of shape, not trendy. Trendy for what? Praise the Lord. The trend should be the word. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. I want to close by saying the rich young ruler could not sacrifice. The Bible says he walked away because he had many wealth, riches. And like I said, wealth had him. Praise the Lord. I've been privileged in life to meet worthy people. And what amazed me is that many of the wealthy people are humble. I'm not talking about the, the novel rich, the young get rich quick. I'm talking of real wealthy people. Many of them, you even know that they are that rich. They lie low. They are humble. And many of them too, they know where their wealth came from. It wasn't just their hard work and their intelligence. It was God's mercy. And they don't hold it there. They are ready to obey God. Praise the name of the Lord. I say praise the name of the Lord. Another thing I found in them is that many of them know that money is not everything. They don't over magnify money. They respect the voice of the Lord. Knowing the voice of the Lord is more powerful than money. There is so much money cannot do. But there is nothing the voice of the Lord cannot do. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. 
And I'm talking about those who are very rich. Not the ones who have little shishi. Not the ones that have little shishi. It soon entered their head. Hallelujah. 10 million naira. 15 million naira. 20 million naira. Like one of my daughters in the Lord told me, she went to Bayesa to do program. He said, two pastors, we are quarreling. One pastor said to another pastor, say, how dare you talk to me? Do you want to 10 million naira in your account? Do you, do you have a jeep? And you are talking, you are insulting me. How, who are you? Maybe the pastor had 15 million naira in his account. <laughs> that politicians use for weekend. weekend. Weekend chicken change. And as far as he has that money, nobody can talk to him. But there are those who are billionaires that you can talk to and they will say, I'm sorry. Because they are not deceived. The Lord Jesus talked about the seed that fell into the midst of thorns. He said, it's what he called the deceitfulness of riches. And riches can be deceitful. It gives you false security. It makes you think that ah, that money can handle everything. But very soon you are in for a rude awakening. And there is so much money cannot do. Praise the Lord. And we are saying, people of God, let us not compromise that foundation. Genuine Christianity and genuine Christian service and genuine obedience to God has sacrifice in it. It has cost. It will cost us. But make no mistake about it. The one for whom you are making that sacrifice, he is worthy. Amen. I say amen. He is worthy. And he is a rewarder. There is nothing that is done for him that he overlooks. He's a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. You can't sacrifice for him and be hopeless. And be abandoned. No. You can't sacrifice for him. And then become a failure. It's a lie. There is nothing we do for him. That is ever overlooked or wasted. He's a rewarder. I say he is a rewarder. I say he is a rewarder. So whatever you do for God, do it with all your heart. Do it with all your mind. Do it with joy. Because the greatest investment is investment into God. Into his kingdom. And into his direction. You know, the Lord Jesus said, sell all you have, give to the poor. That's an instruction. Whatever you do, in order to obey his instruction, it carries a wonderful impact and result. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So obedience to his instruction, even where it has a price, it has a very great reward. And may the Lord reward your obedience. May the Lord honor your sacrifice. May the Lord strengthen you in the mighty name of Jesus. May you keep soaring. May you never come to a point where you think that the word of God must bend for you. May you always understand that you will bend towards this word. Praise the Lord. I say praise the Lord. I say praise the Lord. The present king of England, when he was Prince Charles, his ship was coming to the shore. He was on the sea. And they sighted a, a light. And the, the captain radioed. He said, Her Majesty vessel, please take so and so degree of course. And the other one radioed. He didn't know it was a lighthouse. They radioed. We are the lighthouse. Take a detour. The man didn't understand it. As the ship was moving again, he radioed. 
Her Majesty vessel. Take so and so degree, detour. They radioed, this is the lighthouse. Now, you know the lighthouse? Where it is, shining light, giving guide to the ship. It doesn't move for ships. Ships bend for him. Whether you are the majesty, her majesty vessel, or the king vessel, or whatever you are, he said, we are the lighthouse. You must take a detour. We are the ones that will bend towards the world. The world will not bend towards us. Like the lighthouse, it stands tall. It is we that must bend. Not him that will bend. When the captain of the ship realized, because it was his second officer that was making the call, that you are talking to lighthouse. He said, wait a minute. Take a detour. That lighthouse is unmovable. You are the one that must move. And the word of God is unmovable. We are to move. In obedience. In submission. In yieldedness. It will not bow to us. We must bow to it. Shall bow in prayer. I don't know whether any of these words have registered or made meaning in your heart. But if he has, turn it to a prayer. May the Lord endure us today with grace to follow him. To follow him. We live in changing times. We live in shifting period. When all kinds of things are contemporary issues are happening, conflicting issues. But we must be the standard bearer. We must abide faithful to the world. So we can be change agents to impact the world. If it involves sacrifice, don't shake from sacrifice. Be willing to sacrifice. And he will honor you. He will honor your faith. He will honor your sacrifice. Heavenly Father, we thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord, as you bear witness to the word of your grace. Thank you, Father. And every heart who have received this word, may you expound this word in their heart. May you enlarge it. May you give them greater insight and understanding. And they may run with what you are saying. That our generation may be bettered. Awesome God, we thank you. That as your sons and daughters leave this place and go forth, that we go in your name. May we be the radiant light and the shining light that will affect our world for Jesus. Anyone who has come to a point of discouragement, thinking that, ah, let me let it be, I've suffered enough. Lord, may you endure that one with grace today to continue in the name of Jesus. And for the one who is in a place where he seems as if he's abandoned, Father, I pray, may you arise for such a one. May you arise for such a one. May your favor strengthen their hearts. May your name be glorified in their lives. Father, we pray today that as your word has spoken to us, we pray for grace, greater grace, not just to obey your word, but to be willing to sacrifice. May we take your word seriously and may we walk with it. Awesome God, thank you as you take all the glory in Jesus' mighty name we pray. And as you go, may you go in the authority of this word. May you go in his name. May you go in peace. May you reach your place with joy. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen.
praise the Lord. Shall we just uh, stretch forth our hand and pray for our brother? Then turn the Lord will renew his strength. Thank God for using him to bless us. Just pray for him. That this channel that God has used to water us, much more life giving water shall flow through it, shall water many generations, and shall in turn be watered. Thank you, Father. Be glorified in Jesus' name. Amen. We'll just say the closing prayer. But in that closing prayer, it may take about that 10 minutes. Today is a special day in our nation. It's not that it's insignificant. But as we conclude this, I call on Reverend Ezali. Just because in this last prayer for the nations, we know the elections coming up, and our speaker says something, which I want to share with some people. It's not the move. The church cannot bend because we want population. We have to be careful. Let's not raise another constant time that will trouble the church. So we'll conclude with that prayer. Then I just. And we stand on our feet. Almighty God. Almighty God. A generation shall praise your name. 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 We take it once more, but we respond to this message by saying our generation, my generation, personalize it. Make God a promise that your generation must praise his name. No compromise. Almighty God. Almighty God. My generation shall praise your name. 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 Can you take that prayer for yourself? In response to this message, there is an area you're already compromising or trying to bend the message in order to accommodate a subordinate or somebody. Tell the Lord you're sorry tonight. That you're going to maintain the standard. Our brother spoke to us on being faithful to God's word and sensitive to God's word. As the Holy Spirit to renew sensitivity in you, we are in the age of compromise. When people preach all kinds of things on the word of God and live the way they want and still believe God to accept them.
But Jesus said, did you see that I washed that young man? It's part of the love I have for him. The path. Ask God to renew you afresh. And bring you to a standard where you have the utmost respect for his word. Thank you, mighty and great Jehovah. Blessed be your name, O King Gitana. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, our dear Elohim. Help me, O King of Lord, to return back, Lord, to the old time religion in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Give me that old time religion. Give me that old time religion. Give me that old time religion. This good enough for me. So give me that old time religion. Give me that old time religion. Give me that old time religion. This good enough for me. It was good for Paul and Silas. It was good for Paul and Silas. It was good for Paul and Silas. This good enough for me. Tell him to take you back to that old time religion. That religion of no compromise. That walking with God in integrity and holiness. And purity of the word. Without bending. Thank you Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Be exalted and be glorified. Help me O King of Glory to live for you. And to maintain the standard in the name of Jesus. We are going to pray for Nigeria. Within a very short time, the next five, ten minutes, and we'll be done. If you have been watching the political trend in this country, you will know that God is completely in control. When you look at what is happening and you are following through, you will know that the finger of God is there to turn Nigeria around. The issue of Muslim Muslim tickets is not just by accident. The issue of Atiku picking the governor of Delta State, instead of wicked that would have catapulted into great height, it's not just by accident. So many of the mistakes that they are making, even the Buhari signing the electoral law into, on his own, he wouldn't have done that. If you have been following the trend, you know the finger of God is already... Can we begin to bless the name of the Lord? For his stress in our nation, remember, starting from our student days, Remember the whole IC issue, we called upon him and you know what, how swiftly he answered. God is interested in this nation. Let's bless his name for Nigeria. It's not always that we just look at the negatives happening. God is doing so much. Look at the economy. That we can still eat, come here and we ate very lavishly. In the midst of the recessive economy, it is God's own doing. And it's marvelous in our eyes. If the enemy was to have his free will as we are just here, all we'll be hearing is gunshot everywhere and we'll be running away from this place. But that has not happened because of the finger of God. Let's appreciate him. Let's thank him for what he's doing in Nigeria. Father, we thank you, King of Glory, for what you are doing. Your interest, O Lord, over this nation. King of Glory, be exalted, be glorified in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, the Elohim. Thank you, mighty King of Kings and Lord of Lords, for we pray in the name of Jesus. Can we make a pronouncement that this forthcoming election, only what the heavens have decreed shall take place? Not Asurok, not Buhari, not Atiku, not Shetima, not Tinubu, not APC, not PDP, not anybody for that matter, but the heavens will dictate. Because the Bible says, when Nebuchadnezzar was driven out, when he came back, he said that he has ascertained that the kingdom of heaven ruleth over the affairs of men. And he can give it even to the basis of men. So let us pray over Nigeria. That this forthcoming election, that the will of God, the eyes of heaven, the purpose of heaven regarding Nigeria will come to pass. No force, no Jupiter can stop it. Let's pray. Let's pray. Let's be tired. The next five minutes will be done. And we can go to rest. Pray as you're led. Pray. Call upon the finger of God over this country. Today is the first independent anniversary. The, the, uh, 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 Nigeria's independent anniversary. Let's pray for God's visitation upon this nation. Let's pray that the heavens will take over this election and turn things around. Whatever way God is going to do it, let him do it.
We give you all the glory. We give you all the praise, mighty King of kings and Lord of lords. We pray that, Lord, you take over this election, O King of glory and God, that your will will prevail, O mighty Jehovah. And what you have destined to happen will happen in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Jehovah. Thank you, thou dear Elohim, for we pray in the name of Jesus. The Lord said he has given us the power, the authority to rule over the nations and to dictate things that it must come to pass and nothing can stop it. He said, wherever two or three are gathered together in his name is there in their midst. And whatever they bind in heaven shall be bound on earth. And whatever they bind here on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatever they lose in here on earth shall be loosened in heaven. The authority of heaven is behind us. Can we begin to finally mutter things in the spirit? Pray in the spirit. Let's take the next five minutes to just pray in the spirit. Make all trances to heaven regarding Nigeria. Regarding the forthcoming election. There will be no bloodshed. All this human waste. The issue of kidnapping and banditry. All this shedding of innocent blood and sending people down to the pit of hell has to stop. Pray in the spirit. Call upon the name of God to intervene in the affairs of Nigeria. We must begin to travel freely in our nation. All this issue of sit at home on Mondays has to stop. All this issue of not traveling to certain parts of the country has to stop. Prayers in the spirit. Make intercession on behalf of Nigeria. Zimra katele gizetre makuri boshita la mazandra. Zipro koto logo zontro mukuri boshita. Zimra makatele gizetre mukuri boshita la mazundro. Rima kopro poto logo zontro mukuri boshir mazundra. Zipra pako logo zontro mukuri boshita. Zimra makatele kashinda le mukuri boshita. Zipra makoto logo zontro mukuri boshita. Zimra makatele gizetre mukuri boshita la mazundra. Rima krapatele gizetre mukuri boshita la mazundra. Zipra pako to logo zontro mukuri boshita. Zimra Zimra makatele gizentre mukuri bashita. Rima krapato loko zentro mukuri bashita. Zimra makatele gizentre mukuri bashita. Zipra patele gizentre mukuri bashita la mazundra. Zipra pakatele gizentre. We cause O Lord all the cause the spirits to stop. We cause all the banditers O Lord to cease. We cause all the hired assassins O Lord to cease. The kidnappings O King of Glory. The shedding of blood all over this country. We command it to cease in the name of Jesus. Masu krapata la gezendre me kuri bashita. Zimra makoto loko sontro mo kuri bashika. Zimra makatele gezendre me kuri bashita. Zipra pato loko sontro mo kuri bashita. Zimra makatele gezendre me kuri bashire. Zimra makatele gezendre me kuri bashita. Zimra makatele gezendre me kuri bahuri abashita. Zimra makatele gezentre me kuri bashita. Zimra makatele gezentre me kuri buhuri bashita. Zimra makatele gezentre me kuri bashita. Rim roko sonto mo sonto. Rim pakrapatele gezentre me kuri bashita. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, mighty King of Kings. Let there be a move of our spirit, O Lord, over this country in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Jehovah. Thank you, King Itana. All over the world. The spirit is moving all over the world as the prophet said they should be all over the world there is a mighty revelation of the glory of the Lord as the waters cover the sea Right here in Nigeria, the spirit is moving. In Nigeria, as the prophet said it should be. All over Nigeria, there is a mighty revelation of the glory of the Lord. As the waters cover the sea. Finally, brethren, let us prophesy over Nigeria that this move of God can never be compromised. Every force that will rise against it shall be crushed, whether they be individuals or institutions. The move of God in this time over this nation can never be stopped. What are 
let him prophesy that there shall be a time of corruption and darkness over this nation. But after it, there will be a lifting. Let us pray that it shall be the period of the lifting. That the Spirit of God will move and bring about a rebirth of a new Nigeria. Kurima shanda la masuri bakashita. Zimra makoto logo zindra la kiteli mahuri bashika. Father, we prophesy over this land that this is a time of visitation of this nation. And every force and every root instrument of darkness that try to stop that move of God, we command it to be crushed in the name of Jesus. We pray for a release of your power over this nation. Thank you, Jesus. Let's lift up the church of God in this nation. Let's pray that all these compromises be brought to an end. Let the Lord visit the church in Nigeria with a mighty wind of revival. Let there be a fresh visitation. The lighting of the church to drive away darkness over the face of this nation. Pray. Pray for friends this station, and even upon knife and upon scripture union and all interdenominational Christian fellowships. The mission agencies that all the mindset of God which were revealed in our days as students, which has continued till today, we begin to manifest from Sokoto to Medugri, to Kafanshan, to Karanamuda, to Katsina, to Brendan Kebi, down to Lagos, to Potakot. That the Spirit of God will sweep over and across this nation and we begin to see mighty results and would we'll be evangelists and missionaries who begin to be sent across the continent of Africa and to the rest of the world, even according to the prophecies that have been made over this nation. Let's believe that God, this is a period of his fulfillment and bringing to pass about the will of God regarding our nation. Let us pray. The arms of darkness will be driven. We cannot continue to keep quiet and allow them to have their field day over our nation. Cultism and all demonic activities must cease. Even as the power of God moves to bring men, they will, this is a time of harvest, bringing men into the kingdom. Unrestricted, unresisted. Thank you, blessed Redeemer. Have your way in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Finally, lift yourself up before the Lord Almighty. We all came here. We must have a reason that is personal to you. An area you know that you still need to talk to the Lord about it. As we are gathered here under this corporate anointing and under this cloud of the presence of the Lord Almighty. Talk to God about that issue. About that issue. Talk to God about it. God asked Solomon. What one thing do you want? And I was telling my wife, when God asked you that question, I don't think I was I don't think that Solomon thought over it before answering. Because the Bible didn't tell us, he still told God, let me go and pray. He just answered. And the depth of his heart was forth forth. Because the Bible says, out of the amount of abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. He said, give me wisdom to guide my people. And all those other things he didn't ask for, they were given to him. Talk to God about that one thing that is troubling you. That thing that you know that when he does it, you will know that of a truth. He visited you in this mountain. Talk to God about it as we begin to round up. It might be your family. It might be your personal issue. Whatever it is, talk to God about it in this holy mountain. You are not going back with it. Oh, my dear, you are so many others. And you are just getting back, oh, Lord. That prayerful Lord would have gotten that. And then the multiply for his visa. And within the week. Lord, he can travel. Oh, blessed Redeemer. I will be very happy. Okay, Lord, I will bring God the glory to you. Do it, mighty Jehovah, and take all the glory in the name of Jesus. Let us finally commit our journeys tomorrow into God's hand. Some of us will be traveling to Lagos, some to Enugu, some to Nietzsche, different places, but Accord. Let's pray that the Lord who brought us safely here, nobody came and said they were interrupted on the highway. God brought us here safely and he's going to take us back home safely. And we are going to go and rejoice with our family members. We're rejoicing. As we pray that prayer, let us also pray for our brethren who didn't come here, who were following us virtually. A lot of testimonies have been coming from them too. That the Lord who went out of the camp to go and meet those elders that didn't come physically and still filled them with the Holy Spirit. That the Lord will visit them. Even as he has visited us in this mountain. The Lord will reach out to them. Meet them at their points of need.
Lord, you take us back home safely, every one of us, and we will not have issues on the way. Thank you, mighty Jehovah, for we pray in the name of Jesus. We pray for the in the diaspora, and Lord, you will visit them. King of glory, in the name of Jesus. Let us prophesy over this, our alumni. See you, Kotek, Nifes, Feather Polytechnic, Nekede. They will never be a reversal. This level we have reached will continue to go up. Then by the time we'll be coming back in two years' time, our brother said that the people who are here are not up to 150th uh, of the membership of this alumni. Let's pray. You have come as the first fruits. But in two years' time, we're not going to be like this. This hall will be packed. We'll be looking for a bigger hall. People will come in their numbers. We're not talking about those who will be following virtually. Let's pray for our campus fellowship. That the story we have been hearing, that this will be the end of that negative story. There will begin to be a turnaround because of this, our visits. Every one of us is going to begin to witness a shift in our fellowship, in our family life, in our individual lives because of our gathering this weekend. Open your mouth and speak to the Lord. Mighty and great Jehovah, we pray, O Lord, for a fresh visitation upon this alumni. That by the time we'll be gathering, O Lord, in two years' time, O Lord, this place will be packed full. Mighty and great Jehovah, because there's going to be a, an, a, even a liftment, O Lord, in our individual lives. Thank you, mighty Jehovah, for hearing us. Take all the glory and all the praise, because we have prayed in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, we want to thank you, King of Glory, for how you have helped us this week. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for the resource persons that you use to reach out to us. Thank you for the good health that you granted us that all through our stay here, none of us broke down. We didn't have any need to rush anybody to the hospital. Thank you for our sister that you used in taking care of the Catherine. Thank you for our brethren that lift, uh, you used, oh Lord, the band people and the vocalist, oh King of Glory. Thank you for our brethren who worked in the ice city, doing very wonderful work. Thank you for all the persons who did one thing or the other to make this homecoming a success. It is a huge success. And we give all the glory and praise unto you in the name of Jesus. By reason of our being here, Lord, it's not by coincidence that today, 1st October, we are rounding up. Lord, we prophesy over Nigeria that all these killings, whether they call it banditry, Fulani terrorists, kidnappers, Lord, unknown gun men, and by whatever name they go, we command it to seize over this nation in the name of Jesus. All these bloodsheds, O King of Glory, sending people quickly down to the pit of hell. We command it to cease in the name of Jesus. This forthcoming election, if that's what you're going to use to build a new Nigeria, we decree, O oh Lord, that all these evil men, we have known the antecedents. They can never occupy a rock. In the name of Jesus. If they insist, they will cease to exist. Mighty Jehovah, we pray that you'll intervene in the name of Jesus. Every thoughts and schemings of the wicked, we command that it shall never reign over this Nigeria again in the name of Jesus. Let them gather together, but not of you. Let them say confederacy, but not of you. It shall never stand in the name of Jesus. Lord, behold your people who have dwelt this many days in this holy mountain. Lord, as our faces are different, so our needs are different. They have different bodies that they have brought before you, which they have pronounced and you have heard. Lord, may none live back to his destination with those burdens in the name of Jesus. Because the Bible says that the yoke shall be broken by the reason of the anointing. By the anointing, Jesus broke the yoke. By the Holy Ghost and power, just as the prophets. These are the days of the Lord God is moving in his power again. By the anointing we must break the yoke. It's not thy power. 
is not by might, but by my spirit, says the Lord. This mountain must be removed, this dry land shall overflow. Spirit says the Lord. By whatever name, O oh Lord, that those mountains present themselves to your servants. Those Goliaths, O oh Lord, that are hindering their progress and are turning the level they have desired in life. I command them right now, O oh Lord, to crumble in the name of Jesus. And let every one of us receive answer to his prayers and his burdens. Lord, those things that are stopping your people from progressing to the next level, I command them to be removed out of their way in the name of Jesus. And by the time we are gathering here in two years' time, even on phone, we'll be sharing testimonies of your visitation upon this mountain. Thank you, mighty Jehovah. Thank you, blessed Redeemer. Be thou exalted and glorified, for we pray in the name of Jesus. We make a pronouncement of our journeys tomorrow. Those who will be traveling by land or by air, by whatever means. Lord, we pronounce that we shall all arrive at destinations in peace in the name of Jesus. No cancellation of flights. No disappointment on the highway. No accidents. No meeting of armed robbers or kidnappers or hired assassins, bandits, terrorists, or those blood-sucking human beings along the highway. No accidents. We'll all arrive in peace. And by the time we get to our destinations, we'll all share testimonies of your, the journey message you have granted us. And all the glory and praise shall be to your holy name. Tonight, O oh Lord, grant us sweet sleep. Yes, we have had a very tedious day. But may we rest like babies in the name of Jesus. Thank you for hearing us. Take all the glory and all the praise because we are prayed in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Uh, I request Brisra. There are some drinks there. That's the bottom pot. Just bring them. Those who have stayed to the end of this meeting. Yeah, bring those drinks there. A, see the kind of soft drink there. Bring it. That's the bottom pot for those who have stayed to the end. Sister Christy, please bless this bottom pot. Like my own is always blessing. Thank <laughs> you.